2020 is shaping up to be quite the excellent year for new roller coasters. And here we have another official announcement for yet another project that we already knew quite a bit about. But we did get some more concrete information with this announcement. Busch Gardens Williamsburg just recently announced their new Pantheon Intamin multi-launch coaster coming in 2020. It's going to be themed to five of the Roman gods, namely Minerva, Mercury, Neptune, Jupiter, and Pluto. And basically, these five gods are going to be represented by different elements of the ride. I'm not going to get too much into that, but I think Busch Gardens is going to do a good job with the storyline. And I would expect that they'll do a pretty good job with this ride and try to tie the story together fairly well. The logo looks great. The name is pretty cool sounding. At first, I wasn't too sure about it, but I'm starting to get used to it. And I, I think Pantheon is a, actually a pretty awesome name, and it has a great logo. So what's interesting about this announcement is we already knew so much about this beforehand. We're pretty familiar with what a lot of this ride does, but in the official announcement to the general public, it seems like they didn't really give a whole lot of details as far as like specific ride elements and stuff like that. We didn't get a really good off-ride rendering of it. We just got kind of some shots here and there in a short video that they released. There was no official POV animation and really we only got some tidbits of information. They basically gave us a layout diagram and some stats. So as far as the stats go, the track length is going to be 3,328 feet, but the actual amount of track that you travel along, since it's sort of like a shuttle coaster and it's going to have sections that go forwards and backwards, it's actually going to travel along something like 4,200 or 4,300 feet of track. I can't remember the exact number, but it's somewhere in that neighborhood. It's going to have a top speed of 72.5 miles per hour, and it's actually going to have a big 95 degree drop, which is pretty awesome. So this ride's going to have four launches. The first launch is only going to be 36 miles per hour, and it basically just serves to get you through a couple of the first maneuvers of the ride. The second launch is going to be 50 miles per hour. The third launch, which goes backwards, is going to be 61 miles per hour. And then the fourth launch is going to be 67 miles per hour. And as you've probably noticed, that fastest launch doesn't even get you up to the top speed. You're going to reach that maximum speed of 72.5 miles per hour when you go down the drop. This is going to be a really, really unique ride, especially for North America, and it bears a lot of similarities to the Park Asterix coaster that is supposed to open in 2021. Once again, since they didn't release a whole lot of details with this announcement, we don't really know if there's going to be like a sort of holding break like there's going to be on the Park Asterix coaster, but this is going to be pretty similar to that with the fast switch track and the multiple launches, the huge drops. Um, it's made by the same manufacturer, which is Intamin. And let's take a moment to talk about that. A major Intamin coaster, a major thrilling Intamin coaster coming to America. This is amazing, and it's really exciting to see Intamin getting back in the game. Hopefully this starts a new wave of major thrilling Intamin coasters coming back to the United States. I think that would be great to see, especially new Intamin. Seems like they're trying to work out some of their issues they've had in the past with reliability and things like that. They've been utilizing basically just these LSM launches, which are much more reliable than their hydraulic launches found on rides like Top Thrill Dragster and King de Ka. I think this is going to be an amazing addition to Busch Gardens Williamsburg. It's probably going to be the best coaster in the park, if not probably second best. This is definitely a ride I'm really looking forward to getting out to, and it definitely gives me a good reason to go visit Busch Gardens Williamsburg, which is already one of my top bucket list parks that I would like to visit in the near future. I think the theme is great, the name is great, awesome logo, very unique layout, a great intense looking Intamin coaster, and even though we didn't get any official all-encompassing animation of this ride that really lays everything out in detail, 
the animation made in No Limits by Amusement Insider that was released several months back along with those leaks we got from BGW fans is pretty accurate to this layout. It's pretty much exactly what this coaster is going to be. So I'll have that up here on the video. That's pretty much what this ride is going to be. It's pretty spot on. Props to Amusement Insider for that. Are you going to travel to ride this and do you think it could be one of the best coasters in the United States? Some people are saying this is their most anticipated coaster of 2020 so far. It's definitely going to be a very great year for coasters and this looks to be an amazing addition to the North American coaster lineup. I can't wait to see what this ride has in store and I definitely can't wait to get out there and ride it. So thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Pantheon in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Coaster Daddy. Follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. And I will see you guys next time. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.